if I touch it, it would explode and destroy all of New York City, parts of Connecticut and New Jersey. Oh. This is one of the greatest mysteries in our physics. Imagine simply touching it, causing a massive explosion that decimated New York City, Connecticut and New Jersey sections. This perplexing concept is one of physics greatest mysteries. What is about to happen is so massive that Michio Kaku broke into tears. The renowned Large Hadron Collider at CERN near Geneva in Switzerland reopened in April 2022 after an amazing three-year halt for extensive renovations and maintenance. This marked the start of Run 3, a remarkable scientific mission that would thrill the globe with a series of astonishing experiments until 2024. However, a recent CERN announcement has sparked concerns about the potential consequences of activating this famed particle collider. The LHC is a massive and high-energy particle collider built between 1998 and 2008 in partnership with over 10,000 scientists and hundreds of institutions from over a hundred countries. It is hidden beneath the French and Swiss borders in a 27-kilometer tunnel 175 meters underground. Its first collision occurred in 2010 with an energy level of 3.5 tera electron volts per beam over four times the previous record. This energy has been increased to 6.5 tera electron volts per beam due to modifications. But what terrifying event is just about to unfold, rendering Kaku helpless with tears? Within the LHC, accelerated particles smash at four sites, each surrounded by seven detectors. These detectors are painstakingly built to observe diverse events caused by collisions. While proton beams are the principal collisions, the LHC can also accelerate heavy ion beams, such as lead nuclei and combinations, such as proton-lead collisions. This massive collider's major purpose is to allow physicists to validate the predictions of many particle physics theories. Studying the Higgs boson's characteristics and the quest for various new particles postulated by supersymmetric theories is critical. The name hadron refers to composite subatomic particles made up of quarks held together by a tremendous force comparable to how electromagnetic forces hold atoms and molecules together. Hadrons include baryons such as protons and neutrons. There are also mesons like the pion and kaon, discovered during cosmic ray tests in the late 1940s and early 1950s. A collider smashes particles, which is vital in understanding the universe's basics. Powerful tools like magnifying glasses reveal unseen mysteries. Creating them is complex, akin to puzzles. Collisions generate fleeting, smaller particles that are hard to study otherwise. Underground, circular colliders hide to save costs and avoid excavation. The tunnel, completed between 1983 and 1988, is lined with sturdy material. It has already been utilized for various experiments. This tunnel, which runs beneath Switzerland and France, is quite interesting. However, the majority of it is in France. Above ground, there's a building with all sorts of equipment to help run the collider and collect data from the collisions. In terms of data, these collisions generate a massive amount of data. Imagine capturing a large number of images quickly. Scientists require a specialized network of powerful computers to process all of this data. Building this network was a massive worldwide undertaking. It's like having a massive team of super smart computer wizards on your side. Now let's talk money. The Collider, super costly at 7.5 billion euros, was built over years, launching in 2008. Initial hiccups were fixed. From 2010 to 2013, it smashed particles at high speeds, unveiling the Higgs boson, a vital physics piece. Discovery confirmed universe concepts and advanced particle study in extreme conditions. Like a puzzle's end, scientists celebrated the Collider's successes. After upgrading, the Collider restarted in 2015, delving into the universe's tiniest components. It operated between 2015 and 2018, followed by a shutdown until 2022. Restarting in April 2022 with higher energy, it's set to run till 2026. During this run, an Earth magnetic field crack surprised scientists on July 7th. Open for 14 hours, it allowed solar winds, causing stunning auroras. Fans playfully imagined a Stranger Things villain emerging, but it's a mere imaginative dream. A mesmerizing aurora resulted from a geomagnetic storm caused by a crack in Earth's magnetic field. This crack emerged due to a rare solar event called a co-rotating interaction region, CIR. 
These large plasma structures form near the sun when different solar wind speeds interact, similar to coronal mass ejections (CMEs). CIRs propel toward Earth, triggering impressive auroras and magnetic storms. One such event hit Earth on July 7th, causing a G1-class geomagnetic storm. While normal, these cracks can stay open for hours, allowing some space storm energy through our protective magnetic shield. Fortunately, this recent crack caused no major disruptions, delighting Canada and U.S. residents with stunning northern lights. Moreover, scientists have informed us that the sun is entering a more active phase in its solar cycle earlier than anticipated. This increased activity means our chances of witnessing auroras are even better in the coming years. The discovery of this crack in Earth's magnetic field is just one of the recent achievements of the Large Hadron Collider. In July 2017, multiple analyses were conducted based on the vast data collected, further contributing to our understanding of the universe. In 2016, scientists shared with the public some exciting insights into the Higgs boson's properties. They delved deeper into its characteristics and enhanced the accuracy of several other findings. Since March 2021, the experiments conducted at the LHC Collider have made significant progress. They've identified around 59 new types of hadrons by analyzing data from the Collider's initial two runs. A remarkable discovery occurred on July 5, 2022. Researchers observed a new kind of pentaquark composed of specific quarks while studying charged B mesons decay. Over time, as particle physics experiments continue to run, their outcomes tend to become less groundbreaking. This is because the initial groundbreaking achievements are gradually fulfilled, leading to fewer comparatively significant results. To counter this, a straightforward approach is to upgrade the equipment involved, particularly by enhancing collision energy, luminosity, and detection capabilities. There's even a possibility of increasing the collision energy to 14 tera electron volts. This upgrade, known as the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider, began in June 2018. Its goal is to boost the machine's luminosity, increasing the chances of observing rare processes and improving measurements that might otherwise be on the edge of statistical significance. The ongoing third run of the Large Hadron Collider is seen as an intermediate stage in its overall program. The first run's major achievement was discovering the long-awaited Higgs boson. In contrast, the second run revealed important decay modes of this particle, confirming its role in providing mass to heavier elementary particles. The third run, expected to conclude around late 2025, is anticipated to double the current LHC dataset. Following this, there will likely be a longer preparation phase, extending until 2029. The upgraded LHC will have 10 times more collisions than before, generating a huge dataset during its fourth run until 2042. It gathers proton-proton collisions, studying their components, quarks and gluons, responsible for strong nuclear force. Imagine protons as jelly bean bags with these components. Collisions either create known particles or allow quarks gluons to collide. This helps physicists understand nature's laws at small scales. Scientists analyze rare high-energy reactions to gain insights using the LHC data. More experiments mean larger samples of these reactions, aiming for conclusive evidence of a significant discovery. Hopes are high for groundbreaking revelations. However, finding these infrequent, intense collisions presents a significant challenge due to the Large Hadron Collider's process. Bunches of protons collide around 40 million times per second within the collider. Each of these collisions involves at least 50 individual proton-proton collisions. Photographs capturing these collisions taken by the main LHC detectors ATLAS and CMS, are then stored permanently. These images are nearly 20 times larger than a typical smartphone photo. To give you an idea, preserving the data from just one second of operation would generate a database of 1 million gigabytes. Every second, around 40 million events are collected, the majority of which are common occurrences. There are many thousand W boson events and one Higgs boson event concealed among them. A trigger, controlled by computer processors, chooses a few hundred collisions every second for permanent recording. Physicists examine these selected events. Regardless of its selectivity, the Large Hadron Collider generates a massive database. Its primary purpose is to discover new elementary particles that reveal previously unknown interactions. Some particles may be heavy, 
decaying into high-energy quarks and leptons. It's unlikely that they'll be discovered in Run 3, but intriguing statistical evidence and distinctive visuals might emerge, fueling the theoretical debate. The high-luminosity Large Hadron Collider in Run 4 and subsequent runs is expected to confirm these initial suggestions. Currently, there's a significant opportunity to search for weakly coupled new particles, as predicted in models of dark matter interactions. These particles have low production rates because they're influenced by weak electromagnetic interactions rather than strong ones. Therefore, increasing the dataset could prove invaluable. Detecting elusive dark matter particles is challenging due to weak interactions and undetectable signals. Newton's third law suggests visible particles recoil from invisible emissions, aiding indirect detection. Dark matter produces small recoil signals, hard to detect due to low visible energy. Run 3 enhancements target better identification of these signals. CERN considers a costly circular collider for breakthroughs. However, debate arises. Proposing funds for promising projects like a lunar radio telescope or orbiting gravitational wave detector, seen as wiser allocations than an uncertain collider's potential. Subscribe to our channel for mind-blowing theories and terrifying happenings. Considering that the Large Hadron Collider has yet to complete its third run and prepare for a fourth one, some skeptics question the urgency of the future collider. Despite this, the LHC continues to make slow but steady progress, unveiling previously inaccessible knowledge. Click on the link popping up on your screen for an enhanced dose of physics. See you in the next video.